it's the palette. And, um, <clears throat> okay, today is my 35, 30, five, um, week pregnancy update. I finally got my camera back, like, my good camera-ish, better than my phone, um, because I can't really edit on that thing. It's terrible. I'm going to start doing my updates a little differently now, like, I'm going to start getting more in detail, I guess, instead of just kind of pulling out my phone and just really roughly describing stuff. I don't know if you guys will like it more or like it less. Comments are for. If you have been following me or watching me, whatever, then you know I've had a lot of pain in my left side. And they told me um, that it was a pinched nerve, is what my doctor said. Well, she didn't really diagnose it. She just said that's probably it. I got sick, like how I am now. And um, I started coughing, and I coughed really, really hard one time. And I just felt like I just ripped my insides out. It was so painful. And then later that night, I, well, um, I decided, you know, it, it always felt like there was a bruise there. And I asked my husband, I was like, oh my god, is there a bruise there? Um, he said no. But through, through my insurance, I have a 24-hour nurse. And I, and, I, and I called them, and they said, you know, that because I'm small and it's very common uh, that my ligament, the ligaments holding my uterus are going to stretch. So it's going to cause um, very like a tearing feeling, I guess. It's and it's there's really nothing you can do about it. Just give birth. That's that's the cure because it's it's going to get painful. And um, by the night time, it was hurting really bad. So I lifted up my shirt and there was like this big bright red veiny looks like veins slash a bruise but it wasn't like purple or anything like that I started to flip out and I was like oh my god I'm dying from the inside out like I just I thought like worst things in my mind were like oh my god like something's detaching or I mean I, I was just flipping out like it was crazy and it didn't help because, like, he was kind of flipping out, but he was trying to be calm at the same time. Um, so we're sitting there, you know, flipping out, but trying to be calm. And we're both shaking. We're like, what the heck's going on? Is he okay? I didn't think that was normal at all. So we went to the ER. I am not very happy with where I live. Like, the ER, the hospital, the the doctors around here, at least the one that I have gone to, um, they make me very upset because I go in there and they look at me and my husband like we're a bunch of idiots and they don't really, the younger ones, like the younger nurses and all that, they are completely fine. They are like the coolest people ever. They show, they're like very concerned and all that. Or they just, they make sure, you know, I, I get stuff and I, I'm taken care of. Um, the older ones, the doctors, are like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. And it's like, okay, uh, I'm fine with this happening. Obviously, I can't change the fact that I'm pregnant. So if you could just kind of tell me what's going on and not just look at me like I'm dumb. I would be a lot in, in, a, in a lot better mood. Like, when I went in there, she's... Like, the nurses, they didn't even know how to describe my, my bruise-looking thing on the piece of paper. So, they, I'm sitting there like, oh my god, you can't even describe this, but you're saying it's normal? The doctor didn't even see me. He's just like, just put eyes on it and go home. So, I was like, okay, that's great. Um, so, this pain's not going to go away. That, that, I, um, I can deal with that. Probably a stretch mark. It wasn't a stretch mark. It went away after, um... Next day, about halfway through the day, it was almost completely gone. Um, so I know it wasn't a stretch mark. My doctor is like, the, I, I am so, the only reason I'm educated enough about my pregnancy is through my own research, which is, you know, you should always do your own research. Um, my 24-hour nurse who calls me and has me, and uh, keep, keeps up to date with me, and she explains a lot of stuff I should look out for, that my doctor doesn't even go over. Like, I know, like... The nurse came in one time because I had to go to the ER twice in three days. She said, okay, your doctor should be go, should have, uh, she probably already told you, um, how to kick count, uh, how to count kicks, which is his little kicks. 
Um, I was just looking for you know. She's like, oh, well, here's a sheet. And it's basically how to make sure he's okay and if his kicks start going down. And I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, you don't even have to really tell me. Just give me a piece of paper. I'll go read it. I'll go research it. I definitely do not like the doctors around here. Um, at least the ones I've been to. Because I feel they treat me different than if I was a 30-year-old woman. Um, yeah, but hey, at least I'm trying to make sure that everything's okay. I'm not being stupid and like, that's probably normal. That's probably normal. Like, I, I, I make sure everything is okay with him. I'm not very happy with doctors right now. So, that's just me venting that. Getting sick is terrible. Um, I hate that I'm sick right now because... It's so much more miserable when you're pregnant, when you get sick, than versus when you're not pregnant. For one thing, when you're pregnant, you're more likely, like, you get sick more often, and it sucks. Very rarely get sick. And so this is, like, a huge wake-up call for me, because I, like, I don't, I'm not used to being sick. Sick, and sick is, oh, and your face gets so swelled up. Oh, my God, I have... I have a naturally round face that I get from my mom, and I actually, blah, I tell her all the time I wish I didn't have a round face. She's just like, ah, that's the only thing you got for me. I got everything for my dad. And so this, mm, mm, mm. I feel so fat in my face, and I hate it. Yeah, when you're pregnant, you never feel like you're really pregnant. You just feel like you're getting fat and you're becoming a big giant elephant lard. We are currently working on Travis's room and I am so excited for it. Um, we're going to get the painting done um, um, either Tuesday or Wednesday, so in a couple days. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I want his room painted and I can't wait to decorate it. And uh, I'll put a video up on that one. Um, but I'm so excited. Okay, because of this pain in my side, I can no longer work. And I'm so upset about it because I am not the kind of person that just sits at home and does nothing. So I'm just going to make a bunch of videos so I can keep myself occupied. And Because the house is pretty clean, so um, that's, that's good. This is going to be a long last... What is this, five weeks? Yeah. Oh, God. I hope you all have a good day, and I will keep you guys up to date, and I'll be making way more videos now. So feel free to leave comments of requests of whatever. And Sorry, I have a mixture of pregnancy brain and sicky, icky brain. So we'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye, YouTube.